Uh, just so you know who we are, the Internet Society is a global community of Internet engineers, activists, and evangelists with 80,000 members, 114 chapters in 97 countries across the world. It is also the home of the IETF, the Internet Engineering Task Force, which is the premier open standards body that creates the protocols that form the foundation of Internet technology. So thousands of uh, volunteer engineers from every part of the world have been working together for 30 years to invent, write, and publish the standards uh, that have contributed to the deployment of the, and adoption of the Internet around the world. At the Internet Society, our mission is to ensure that there is a global, open, trusted Internet everywhere for everyone. As you heard earlier, information and communications technology is central to uh, wh where we are and what we do in the 21st century. It is really a common platform that allows, delivers, and scales much of the scientific breakthroughs that we are discussing today. In this century, the Internet is both, if you will, the connective tissue that integrates the knowledge of science and the central nervous system that deploys, lights up, and delivers its applications. Women engineers, inventors, connectors, and users are a vital part of the Internet's human architecture and ecosystem. Indeed, the Internet is the spinal cord, if you will, that connects women with opportunities in technology and science. It allows women from anywhere to access knowledge everywhere and to apply it to whatever enterprise she wishes. We heard earlier that in developed countries, women and men have access close to equal uh, uh, for the Internet. But in the developing world, women are 25% less than men to have access. Yet, once women and girls have access to the Internet, they're more likely to use it in their daily lives. That is why it's so important that the UN Sustainability Goals include as a core, a core goal universal Internet access for developing countries by 2020. The Internet Society works hard to bring the world not only the technical expertise of the Internet, but to support the development of human capacities, and women in particular are key to advancing its full deployment. Uh, we have grants on the ground in India. Creating, women are creating micro-level social enterprises based on information and communication technologies. In rural Nepal, mothers are provided with key information about pregnancy, prenatal care. In Bolivia, young women are learning digital literacy uh, skills to take part in the digital workplace. Uh, and in Africa, we fund and support mentorships for women in, in computer science and broker partnerships for professional training. These efforts, however, are insufficient by themselves to adequately equip women and girls with the tools they urgently, urgently need to demand uh, to meet the demands of our times. Frankly, we need a concerted and sustained effort by all those who seek to empower women to understand and advance women and girls' access to technology that will take them farther, faster. As a policy matter, we need to ensure that their access to the Internet and to the devices that connect it to every field of science everywhere in the world. Every researcher, lab assistant, student, and practitioner whether in New York or in Nepal, needs tools of the 21st century to advance science and society. Funding research, uh, research and publishing must keep up with the changes in which we do our work today. And we need to take down the barriers in each and every scientific and technical field that stand in the way of the inherent drive, intelligence, and capabilities of women and girls who are more than willing to face the challenges before us in medicine, education, engineering, computer science, and beyond. Let's look One closely. Minute. Let's look closely who are in the science classes. Who gets the fellowships? Who are considered inventors and partnerships in medicine, education, and development? Are we looking to women to participate, to lead? If not, why not? And what changes do we have to make in our policies in order for this to happen? Women in science means women on the Internet. Women on the Internet means advancement in science. Thank you for, again, for this opportunity to participate.
I spoke in my New York fast uh, mode. I look forward to working with you to make the Internet of Opportunity available to all our people. Thank you so much. Thank you.